What's up, my people? What's going on? Today, we're covering the art of sparring. Several lessons on specifically how to go about introducing yourself to the sparring and how do you progress in your sparring. Because some of you, you're making a real hard way to get yourself in a position where you're getting better at sparring. So what we did is make sure we compiled not only just a video, but we made sure that we compiled an entire day-by-day -day lesson in how to go about the art of sparring, becoming a very, very elite athlete inside, not only outside of the ring, but inside of the ring. So here, you'll see our guys, they're in the background and they're warming up. But the key component is, what they're doing is not just going through the motion of shadow boxing to get prepped to spar. They started earlier in the week. Um, one of our techniques that we go through on a regular basis is our footwork. And the footwork gives us what we call the ability to have the maximum ring generalship that it takes to actually make it around that ring and feel comfortable, even in the corners, against the ropes, and in the center of the ring where you can control your opponent at best. You wanna make sure that you have these components lined up. So in order to prevent from forgetting things, what you do is basically go through our step-by-step -step guide. And with this being what prior to us sparring today, what I'm gonna do is just kind of give you a clean insight as to how to go about doing this. Step one, after we do our footwork training drills, necessary that you do not do too much at one time. So we break it down. We do several different moves, whether it's pivoting, breaks, drop and rolls, and we do that for four tiers. So first tier being, how would you do it in a walkthrough? Meaning, I'm going showing you how to get here, and then I might pivot here. That's a simple step. Step two is how would you do it in a regular speed? Regular speed is off to the side, and then tier three is hot sauce. You see the punch, boom, you break, you roll. You might add your punches. What this does is it gives you the insight on how should you actually operate inside of the fight. So tier four will show you specifically how to get up here in fight mode. I might slip here, it's not in a certain rhythm, the timing is different, and I might take my steps and walk in. And that's how it'll look inside of a real fight. That's what we do first. Then we allow our bodies, once those things are synced, we go into our ring and we start our shadow boxing. And the first thing we do is implement that footwork as we set in the tone to set in the jab. All of these things are step by step. Round two, you start implementing after finding the range going forward and backwards because you can't fight forward without learning the objective of fighting backwards. So we learn certain combinations for the boom, pop, pop, showing you how to execute and protect yourself, set guys up, set those traps, and allow yourself to become what we call an elite level fighter. It's fighting in the system, not just skills. Having the opportunity or really having the ring wherewithal to not only just beat your guy or counter your guy, but have the IQ to set him up when he least expected. So, like I said, then we go into the next round. round. We start throwing our combinations in one, two, three, and after that, you allow yourself and your punches to start flowing. These things are built in a certain algorithm, and then from that point on, you're feeling comfortable. You're knowing and you're getting your defense and your offense, they're all coming together. They're singing like a chorus, and trust me, when it's all said and done, all of these little details truly come into play because if you're a fighter right now and you're in the ring with a person that has a system, not just hearing instructions, but systematically, you're in a fight. It's a very slim chance that you overcome all of the adversities that you will face and you're never knowing when you're being set up because these are things that we practice on a regular basis. So we're about to get started. To learn more, simply click the link above. Or if you really want to be position yourself to really get good at really training and understanding the ebbs and flows of how to become 
much better in that ring and get all of the training, learn how to transfer it into your sparring. So with that being said, you improve your fight skill. You can simply just go over here and we got our group at Master Boxing Academy where you can really learn and see these things in their entirety. Because after we get done now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and stream everything into the group. You can really get all the tidbits. That's it for now. Right now I have to go and really get in the ring and we're gonna get it popping. And some of those segments, I'll show you guys clips, but to really get into the game and really learn what it takes to become an elite level fighter or coach a guy, have the ability to coach him to his full potential, you gotta have a system. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're here to do. So never feel afraid to reach out to us because coaches, you know we work for you. And over here at Master Boxing, we're gonna help you get your master's degree through the system and the science in boxing. That's all for right now. Get your art of sparring guide and download today. And if you need more help, like I said before, simply just come and join us in our online academy for coaches. We want you to reach and take your athletes to the highest level. So long, be blessed to God's speed. Check the feed later. We'll probably have a few clips up. If not, first thing tomorrow. We out of here. Like the page and leave us a five-star rating. If this video helped you some, peace.